Rice is the staple food and a very important source of livelihood for millions of Filipinos. Farmers, however, face several constraints that threaten rice production. They lose an average of 37% of their crop annually due to pests and diseases. These may occur every cropping season or occasionally but still cause severe and extensive damage. Farmers face difficulties in managing rice pests and mitigating the risks of pest outbreaks. They spend money and time to control pests which increases the cost of rice production. They often apply pesticides which when misused can be hazardous to health and the environment. One farmer whose field was attacked by a rice pest is Mang Benzon. Mang Benzon has been farming rice in the province of Iloilo for 20 years. In 2017, his field was severely infested by brown plant hoppers. So, ano ang pinaka worst COVID nga na encountered sa taramnan nga nagdubo nag, 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 medyo 40% ang amon patubas ang ano ang hopperborn. Waya waya. Kana ako nag-spray ako ma'am, nag-sprayhan ko ano insecticide. Problema, wala tubig ang amon talamnan. Amo to nga daw agit ma-control ni si Ado ang ano ang waya waya. Amo lang siya nga daw ma nagdugay nga nagdugay naglapad nga naglapad lang damage no. Tanga mo to na tabo nga daw halos mga 40% kin siguro sang namo pa ina mo lang ano na damage kin. Los ang kuan na mo to do mga patubas namo to do mga 30 plus sak. Tigi siya nagapatubas kami na din mga kuan mga 50 to 60. Brown plant hoppers cause hopper burn which results in wilting and may kill entire plants. Brown plant hoppers also transmit viruses that cause diseases. Heavy infestation can cause 40 to 70% yield losses. Ang ano siguro nga kinalan bago siya magsulod sa imo talamnan kinalan may protection ka na sa imo talamnan. Spray ka na para hindi siya makapenetrate dayon. Wala siguro yan sa amin kung anong mga peste na yan, mga symptoms at saka yung review lang kami sa mga kung paano yung mga sakit na yan, mga peste na yan, para siguro makahanda kami kung anong dapat namin gawin. Timely information and advice will help farmers like Mang Benzon avoid pest outbreaks and mitigate pest risks. To address this need, the Pest Risk Identification and Management, or PRIME, was launched in April 2017. PRIME is a collaborative project involving the Department of Agriculture and its regional field offices, the Bureau of Plant Industry, the Philippine Rice Research Institute, and the International Rice Research Institute. PRIME is funded by the Department of Agriculture through the National Rice Program and Bureau of Agricultural Research. PRIME aims to provide the Department of Agriculture and farmers with vital information that will serve as basis for planning and targeting needed interventions to avoid and mitigate pest outbreaks. PRIME conducts research activities to analyze the risk factors of major pests in the Philippines. It focuses on five major pests of rice. These are bacterial leaf blight, leaf and neck blast, tungro, and its vector, the green leaf hopper brown plant hopper, and rats. Farmers may lose their entire harvest when highly susceptible varieties are grown in environments that are favorable to pests. To provide the best crop health management practices and advisories, we need to find out what's going on in farmers' fields. Trained partners of Prime and rice-growing regions throughout the country visit farmers' fields every month to collect data on the incidence of major diseases, insect pests, and rat injuries count of insect pests, and weed infestation. They interview farmers who own or manage these fields to collect data on variety, crop management practices, field condition, and yield. Starting the second semester of 2018, data from over 2,000 rice fields in the Philippines have been collected. By understanding the relationship between pest incidents and cropping practices, Prime will be able to provide better recommendations and advisories related to pest management. Collected data are encoded using mobile phones that are installed with a dedicated app called Prime Collect. This app consists of digital recording forms which regional partners use during data collection. The app allows regional partners to submit the collected data to a centralized server in the cloud. Data are retrieved from the database using the Prime web app which is an online portal used to validate, summarize, visualize, and download data. 
Prime conducts laboratory and field experiments to understand the risk factors affecting the five major pests. One of the experiments was conducted to study the effect of flooding and drought on the population dynamics of brown plant hopper and its regulation by natural enemies. Green leaf hoppers, which transmit tongro viruses, may feed on rice stubbles during fallow period. To understand the importance of infected stubbles in spreading tungro, an experiment was conducted in the greenhouse to study whether the green leaf hopper prefers to feed on stubbles of susceptible varieties over resistant ones. Prime has designed a suction trap to facilitate the sampling and monitoring of the population of insect pests and their natural enemies without the need for using sweep nets inside the field. Researchers also collect data on the incidence of bacterial leaf blight leaf blast, and neck blast on different varieties during the dry and rainy seasons. They study the epidemiology of bacterial leaf blight on inoculated plants. These experiments are conducted to analyze the effects of weather and level of susceptibility of varieties. Prime also conducts field experiments to analyze rat ecology at different rice growth stages including fallow period and its relationship with the levels of damage and yield loss. Aside from conducting laboratory and field experiments, Prime also uses remote sensing to monitor conditions in the field and map some pest risk factors. Field surveys were conducted to collect rice crop characteristics and management information to be related with remotely sensed data. Prime is also developing rice pest models using the data from pest surveillance, experiments, and remote sensing and findings from years of basic research to map pest risks. Each model is then linked to GIS to map the simulated pest intensities and visualize pest risk areas in the Philippines. To ensure that its activities and deliverables are accomplished as planned, Prime is led by a management team composed of representatives from the Bureau of Plant Industry, Philippine Rice Research Institute, National Rice Program, Bureau of Agricultural Research, and the International Rice Research Institute. The data collected by Prime are summarized, analyzed, and then submitted to the Department of Agriculture as a pre-season bulletin. The bulletin also provides management recommendations for the most important pests during the semester. It is submitted one month before each cropping semester to provide information that will serve as basis for preventing pest outbreaks and mitigating pest risks. Prime will release mid-season bulletin in case of pest outbreaks. The data and information that Prime provides to the regional field offices of the Department of Agriculture will guide them in developing pest management recommendations and interventions that will help farmers reduce yield losses caused by pests and attain high yield. With Prime, farmers can make more rice available for consumption, increase their income, and help improve rice productivity in the Philippines. After the research and development phase, the management and operations of Prime will be turned over to the Bureau of Plant Industry. The best risk identification and management for rice uh, would be a great help not only for policymakers, okay, kasi mabibigyan sila ng uh, decision-making tools, we need all the resources that we could uh, get our hands on kasi kami dito sa BPI, kami ang may mandate to manage the pests. Maybe we can tweak the system to, to really uh, cater to other pests or if ever other crops. I'm sure ICT can be adapted kung ano yung kailangan addressing issues of the day. So We hope to cover all if possible. Moving forward, I'm sure this tool can still be improved and in today's current time wherein there are many invasive pests and diseases not only for rice but for other commodities the early warning system and the risk identification and management that we can get from this tool can really aid policymakers uh, uh, us, the implementers, and, and our partners at the other local governments and, and our partners in the field, especially the farmers, to get the best information they can have to adapt to these changes. This prime project is a very relevant project. 
especially so that we are investing so much in increasing production especially in our rice program meron tayo itong RRP wherein namimigay tayo ng low subsidy ng high quality seeds and fertilizers if we cannot manage itong pest outbreaks which usually contribute about 30% loss of production annually so masasayang lahat itong mga initiative and investment natin and uh, we need to maintain, ma-manage natin itong mga pest outbreaks para eventually ma-attain natin yung inaasam natin na increase in production and increase income for our farmers o sinasabi ng ating kalihim na masaganang ani at dagdag na kita sa ating mga magsasaka. Prime aims to improve the productivity of Filipino rice farmers through timely pest advisories and crop health management recommendations. Prime can also guide policy and strategic planning on crop protection and targeting of crop health management practices through science-based and location-specific information. With efficient pest management strategies and tactics, crop losses will be reduced and farmers will have higher yields and higher income. This is in line with the DA's twin objectives of masaganang ani at mataas na kita. Namin kayo siyempre ma... Ang una, matagaan ka o, ano, tagaan ka o, ano, madasig nga, ano, informasyon tayo kung may mga, muna nga, mga piste sa inyo sa amon taramnan. Hindi, mga, ano, ang ano dyan, makapreparar kami kung ano ang dapat namon ngayon mo. Kung para sa una nga, hindi mo ma, igo mo ma, balaan, araan na si brown plant hopper sa imo taramnan, hindi, wala na, nakasulod na. Pero, dira sa, kung sa, sa, sa buong, sa tulad, Sa bulig ni Prime, makdayon kung matimpranuhan ka ano, ni Prime ang, ano, ang mga, may, kung may kaso sa mga amunang ang mga sapat-sapat sa amun lugar o talamnan. You can access the Prime website at pestrisk.da.gov.ph for more information and updates.